praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made that we should all rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you, my lovely people watching me on Sawa TV, Royalty Divine Women Show. Karibu sana. It's always a pleasure to come your way every Thursday morning with this lovely show that its intention is to impact is to change, is to mentor the woman to become the best version that God intends for her. So you're welcome. Very good morning. If you're watching me, it means God has given you an opportunity to be alive and well. And join me in celebrating God for this wonderful doing that he has done for us this day. That is why I always start by saying that this is the day that the Lord has made, that we should rejoice and be glad in it. Wherever you are today, God has given you another chance to give your life the best shot ever. Karibu, karibu, karibu sana. Wherever you're watching me from, whether you're watching me from on your way to work, you're watching me from, from your offices, watching me from your business premises, watching me from the house to all the beautiful uh, moms that are taking care of little ones or the businesses at the house. Congratulations for your work that you do intently. All of you are so welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Why don't you call a woman and tell them Pastor Julie is on set and she's here with another intriguing show to make us better women as it is the crown that God has given upon my life. So wherever you are, feel most welcome. Lovely to see you on set with me. And for the next few minutes, please don't touch that dial. Today is that beautiful day that I usually have someone on set with me and he's a, a normal face on, on, uh, on, on Sawa TV but uh, we usually don't take for granted his presence on Royalty Divine Women's Show. And so today is from a man's perspective. Yes, this is a program that is meant to bridge the gap of understanding between men and women and women and men. So this lovely day, I'm here again with my guest, hands together for my very important VVVIP guest, Reverend Akama on set with me from a man's perspective. He's usually the guest that, um, you know, comes our way because of the weight of his wisdom, the weight of his, uh, uh, you know, the grace that God has given him as a man in our society and in our time. Welcome. Thank you so much. Good to have you again on set. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for looking royal. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you. being that this is royalty divine, a uh, uh, women's show. Thank uh, you for honoring our colors in, uh, <laughs> in, in what? Was it planned? Not really. <laughs> yeah. Not really. Yeah. Thank you yeah. for coming once again. We appreciate your presence here. I'm excited to Taking be here. Taking your busy schedule and being with us always on Royalty Divine Women's Show mm -hmm. is not to be taken for granted. Right. Yeah, for those of you that are watching him from the far, for the first time, kindly. My name is Raven Bia Kama, mm -hmm. uh, Senior Pastor of Son of Abundance Church. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I'm um, excited to be here. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's the, the, the weight behind SOA TV, mm -hmm. if I may <laughs> add that. Yeah, yes. right. Are you married? Yeah, I'm married. Why did you think about it? Because I am. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm married uh -huh. with two lovely children. I tend to think for any man or any woman that is married nowadays, mm -hmm. it's important just to state it. Even if you mention the name. Why? Just for, it is among the, the, um, the introductions okay. that one should have. Apart from the from who you are, what you do, I think that should be part of it, especially yeah. I agree. Nowadays, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously married. <laughs> As you can see, I'm wearing two rings. <laughs> yeah. So uh, do, do, do you mean I'm double married? So I know. The one. <laughs> yeah. So today he's our guest on set, and I'm excited. He's a one man that is loaded with wisdom. He's one man that is deep. He's one man that we cannot exhaust what he has within himself and so every time i bring him on from a man's perspective i know that we are about to understand men more okay mm -hmm. in a bigger better perspective and so importantly today we have a topic yes. and that topic is again trying to bridge this understanding they say that men are from mars women are from pluto 
right which is not true which is not true. okay but the understanding is what now has brought that misconception yeah. so uh quite very fast going on to our topic of today very interesting topic i call it what men hear versus what men what women mean <laughs> okay what men hear versus what women mean why did i think of that topic when i thought of from a man's perspective is mm. because there is a lot of miscommunication and misconceptions that come from communication okay mm. especially from men in in the in, in in what do you call it in the professional uh, sectors husband and wife brother and sister uh, child and father and all that so there is how men understand and there is how women understand all this is a matter of communication okay and being that <clears throat> today's show is from a man's perspective then we are here to understand how men hear what women mean what do women say yeah or what women say what we mean by what we say and how men understand it okay that's quite an interesting topic don't you think yeah and i, I so i thought it's about to bridge the communication barrier between women and men. Number one, we mm -hmm. go straight on to the first point. What do men hear when women say, can we talk? Oh. Anytime women say, can we talk, uh -huh. men know this problem. Especially for? Huh? Especially for married couples. Especially for married Anytime men understand that the woman has an issue. Mm -hmm. Is this um, mentality yeah. that a woman cannot just tell you, let's talk? Mm -hmm. Kuna shida. <laughs> There's no day. Yeah. So, the moment a man hears, uh, can we talk? That's right. The first thing he does, what have I done wrong? Mm -hmm. Did she touch my phone? Yeah. Is there a message that came through yeah. that is not right? Yeah. Mm, the last time I left, I did we talk? Did we live it well? Mm -hmm. Is there any pending problem? Yeah. So, man, before he responds to, can we talk? Mm -hmm. He has gone to the background. Is there a background check? Of his day. See, just his day, his phone, his people, what? Just to make sure he has. Is not cornered. Yeah. It's not cornered. Uh -huh. So most men will ask, will, not, will answer like, what is the problem? Uh -huh. They will not answer that, yes. They will say, what is the problem? Yeah. Because there's this understanding. When a woman says, let's talk, yeah. there must be a problem. There must be a problem. So that's how men understand. And I, I will talk in the place of women. Mostly, it is not uh, meant that way. That's why we are here to bridge that gap. Yeah. Because... Um, in real sense, uh -huh. I could be wanting us to talk about uh, family, okay? The progress of the family, you know, the progress of children, your mother, but okay? <laughs> Something different. Why is it that men always have to, you know, be defensive when that question comes about all that request? Or how should women say it? Because 75% um, yeah. when a woman says, can we talk, there's an issue. Mm -hmm. 75%. Whatever issue, positive or negative, yeah. it's an issue. And sometimes, can be like mostly negative. Uh -huh. Women, when they want to talk, yeah. they don't look for audience. Mm -hmm. They talk. Mm. A woman who just talk, she's from the bathroom, she's, she's talking. There is, there's nothing in her mind. Mm -hmm. She's in the kitchen, she will talk. <clears throat> yeah. If a woman tells you, let's talk, this thing she has processed, mm -hmm. it is something that's in her heart or yeah. in her mind. Yeah. So by the time she has to bring it out, it's something that is inside of her. Yeah. And so you'll find when a woman wants to down to talk, what she's trying to get is your attention. Mm -hmm. So at that particular moment, the man wants to get with this thing that calls for my attention. For example, a woman will talk when she's cooking. She didn't plan to talk about mm. food. Yeah. She will tell, ask her how's your day, um, uh, I'm buying this. No, she has not told you. I want us to talk. I want to buy. Mm -hmm. I want to buy new dishes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she's telling you, I want us to talk. There must be an issue. Yeah. And, and, and you see, it's a serious issue. Yeah. It might not be directly accusational issue. That's right. But it's an issue. Yeah. When a woman tells you you want to talk, 
most of the time uh -huh. it is the something that needs to be handled yeah it doesn't have to be that you have done a mistake mm -hmm. but it's a serious business yeah so men Thank interpret mm. that there's a problem yeah so um it might not be me per se yeah so before even he says we can talk he has done a background check on okay. himself on himself on the day because you see as you <laughs> say men are always suspect <laughs> even if they are not doing anything yeah that's that's a statement that he likes saying that most men are suspects even yeah, when they have even, absolutely so done nothing because we have been made suspects yeah we suspect ourselves all the time yeah so you don't just talk you must do a background check in, in a span of less than three minutes yeah but three. for me how i look at it is if if you have nothing to be guilty about that that is a statement that you should take very positively if you have nothing hiding if you have nothing uh secretive that uh is is under guard you know is chiniamaji then um, you have nothing to fear. It's like, okay, what's what's the issue? Because for me as a woman, all right, when I, I make that statement is to bring out this is a serious matter. It's not a cheat. That's the word. Yeah, that's okay? a serious matter. Yeah. And it could be financial. It doesn't have to be anything bad. It could be that our goals, three months goals, six months goals, one mm -hmm. year goals mm -hmm. have not been met. True. The only thing is the reception or the perception from the man as for any man yeah you tell them let's talk mm -hmm. they know they yeah. understand there's a problem and the first thing if they don't get if they doubt themselves for a second yes the first thing they do is a put a defense uh -huh. so it is a normal thing with men yes. men understand let's talk ah Kuna shida. i have done something yeah i yes. must have done something i must have done something. okay um um in in an advice okay how either for the man for the woman eh? mm. how should um the woman bring this issue out how should the woman like um say it is there a better way of saying i think there is a better way yeah you don't have to say let's talk mm -hmm. you talk mm -hmm. because there's no day also for there's no day for talking yeah if there's an issue um bring out the issue mm -hmm. this, this is how i would suggest Tell my husband, there's something about your mom yeah. that is bothering me. There's something about your job that concerns me. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, bring out the issue first. Mm -hmm. Don't tell him, can we talk? Mm -hmm. you, you, you've given that man, he has to do what I call a wild guess. Mm -hmm. But if you tell him the issue, yeah. he will know how to handle it. Sincerely, the wild guess doesn't have to be there because can we talk? You give the audience, okay, I have 10 minutes, I'm rushing to work. Oh yes, we can talk now. We can talk in the evening over dinner. Okay? There's that platform that you're giving. So then why the wild guest? Because the next thing is she will definitely come out men are always, come out clean. Men men are like women. They're inquisitive. Mm -hmm. Always inquisitive. They want to know what is it. Mm. And the moment you tell the man let us talk, he will not be at peace. Even if really later, he will not be his mind will rotate on that thing. Mm -hmm. And that's on its own. So what for me is, uh, there might never be a really good way to bring it out. Yes. But what I believe exactly. is, what I believe is, you can bring out the point, and the point makes the man comfortable. Yeah. Because how you bring the point, or what you want to see, for example, you tell me, I don't discuss about the our savings. Mm -hmm. The man, if he's guilty, has used all the savings. Mm -hmm. You tell him not today. Yeah. Or you put him on a spot, he has to, uh, he has to like account mm. very fast in his head. So for me, I think it's also good to let him know what you want to talk about. Yeah. Very important. Of which that, uh, of course, is now what follows after that question. Because yes. for me, I find that that question very polite. No, All right? no, not for men. Yeah, I find it very polite. Is I'm, I'm getting your audience as a man. Okay. So if you're not guilty, you shouldn't run away from anything. The next thing should be oh, about what? Is this something that can take the next of my 30 minutes because I'm about to go? Okay, let's talk about whatever the issue okay. is over dinner. I think that's something that men need to um, start processing to look at it positively so that it does what? It doesn't get them feeling defensive and all that and all the negative energy that come after that question mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. yeah so from today i think uh, entirely as a woman you need to understand how your man understands that question that, or that, yeah. he has that question mm -hmm. okay it's very, you, very need to, you need to you need to how does your man the man in your life either your husband your boss 
or whoever. And sometimes, yeah, they are not defending themselves. Yeah, they just don't like it. That is a good grief for a man. Yeah, they don't like that. Yeah, they take the, 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 the man sometimes they are men because probably they are guilty. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The, the, this thing runs into their head. Amma, she, she, she touched my phone. <laughs> uh, I, I know. She crashed the Especially, es yeah, especially the guilty one yeah. will not allow you to have that conversation. Wow, wow, wow. So, I think the bottom line is, please, just try and understand how your man takes that question. Correct. Very important. How does he take that question? How does he hear it versus what you mean? Mm -hmm. Okay? That will put a baseline for uh, uh, the response that you are expecting or for the way forward okay True. and the way forward is from today maybe you scrap off that question <laughs> if you want to talk about money just hit him on the mm -hmm. face so yeah? I need money. if you want to talk about uh, whatever the issue you found on the phone hit him with it don't pose that question if it makes your man mm -hmm. uncomfortable right very very true so what men hear versus what women mean. Number two question is, this is now a question that comes from men, all right, to their women. And now the response, mm -hmm. okay? The question could be, are you okay? A man asking her woman, yes. his woman, are you okay? And then the woman answers, I'm fine. What do you hear <laughs> as a man from I'm fine? I'm fine yeah. does not mean things are okay also. <clears throat> And Especially now, because for you to ask, are you okay, uh, it must have been... There has been an issue before. Or maybe you've seen something from yes. her behavior. Yes. yes. So, most of the time, mm -hmm. we will use, I'm fine. Yeah. So that you can probe in. Okay. Yes. So, when a man hears, I'm <coughs> fine, he knows, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So, that begins to bring questions. Yeah. In his mind. Uh -huh. So, for a man, I'm fine... In short, she's summarizing <laughs> yeah. what you mean. Uh -huh. the, the woman is trying to keep you off. Yeah. You know? Uh -huh. So most men will probe. Yeah. But with the moment you don't say mm -hmm. what it is, mm -hmm. then the man is left in suspense. Okay. Yes. Do for for like from you as a man, what is the next thing you answer? Of course you have seen. Mm -hmm. She doesn't look fine for you to ask that question. If not, you're, if, if probably you're not the kind of men that keep on asking that question. Mm -hmm. There are men who have that uh, uh, nature, or there are couples, or there are people who just have that question. You know, that nature of asking, are you okay? And the answer is usually, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. All right? Could be normal. But for those that that is not normal, probably you've seen something, or you have sensed an atmosphere with your woman, uh, when you are answered, I'm fine. Okay, how do you pick it up from there? What are you finding about it? it, it, it. See, so when somebody says I'm fine, uh -huh. it's very vast, <laughs> uh -huh. it's so vast yeah. in terms of I'm fine. The next one is with what uh -huh. you don't look fine. Thank you, that's, that's the point that's, I'm that's looking the thing. for. You don't look fine. Yeah, are you sure you're fine? Yeah, is it fine, fine, or fine? I'm okay. fine. Uh -huh. So, you see, for a man, when you ask when, when he hears I'm fine, yeah. Um, it's like a guess, Goose. Yeah. Like, do I need to go deeper mm -hmm. and unravel something yeah. that could be making her not comfortable? Okay. Yes. So for a man is, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> are, you, are you really fine? Yeah. Yes. Okay. A man gets it that there's a problem <laughs> that needs to be tackled. All right. And, and this one is to the men from a woman, okay? Mm -hmm. That if you have sensed a, a, a atmosphere, mm -hmm. okay, that probably she's not okay. You have said that she's not talking like she's not jovial, mm -hmm. she's not uh, up and down, she's looking a little bit low, and you ask, are you okay? And she answers, I'm fine. Please take that as an indicator. She's not she's okay. She's not okay. And what she's looking for is your audience, as your he attention. has said, your attention, as he has said, for more probing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Women like it uh, pulled out. Ah. Okay, yeah, women like to feel um, like a bit uh, cared for. Oh, so he has noticed I'm not okay. And he has asked. And I've said I'm not fine. And he has gone ahead and, uh, and, and followed it up with what is disturbing you or you don't look fine. Sometimes, ah, that one makes her feel awesome. Sometimes when you follow that, yeah. uh, you might put your fingers in hot water. No, but sincerely speaking, for you to come out as a man and ask, 
and and get that response and probe it further it means you're a caring man okay it means you care about that woman and that is what now makes your woman feel very special so whenever you realize that your woman is not okay and you ask are you okay and she answers i'm fine yeah. then you follow up with no you don't look fine uh, is, that, is everything okay yeah. you make that woman know that you care you make that woman feel pampered and special so the next time you handle it in that manner uh, yeah, you I'm, handle it in that yeah. manner you make your relationship go and grow to the next level yes. wonderful and sometimes you yeah. find the same question <laughs> you'll be answered like I will be fine. I will be fine. Yes. Yeah. That is a, a straight answer. Uh -huh. Is something something wrong. is wrong. Yes. But I'll, I'm tackling it yes. within myself, or I will come or out. Or I need you to come on board. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. So again, whichever way you understand your woman, probe it further, or get a, a deeper insight into what probably what? could be making her not fine. Yes. And to the men. Get the answer straight from my answers. Hallelujah. I almost said uh, something else different. Okay. So what men hear versus what women See. mean. Okay. How are you liking the show? It's nice. It's awesome. It's good. Yeah, it's it's abridging the communication gap and the commun understanding between women and men. Point number three. Do what you want hey. as a response from women. Okay. Do what you want. Okay, what men hear versus what women mean. Do what you want. When a man hears that, uh -huh. it means it shows this thing is coming to an end. Yeah. He understands um, it is no longer safe. Mm -hmm. Man understands this woman wants to listen. Mm -hmm. He guess it like it is not well with us. Mm -hmm. It's not well with me, it's not well with her. Yeah. So that kind of question mm. is not a very good question to them. I think it's more of a response. It's more of a response. Like that question, that, 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 that answer of, um, what do you say? Do what you want. Do what you want. Yeah. It's like she's tired. Yeah. She's done. Yeah. From there, go your way. Do yeah. whatever you want. I don't care. I don't absolutely care. Yes. Yeah. It's not a good statement to be said uh -huh. to the man. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. And and absolutely, when a woman, this is to the men, all right? This is from a man's perspective, a woman and a man's understanding point show. And when your woman tells you do what you want, that woman does not care about you. Correct. Absolutely. She has gotten to a point whereby she is careless. Why? Because probably she's been trying to take you out or help yes, you out yes. from a certain point as a man whereby you're not coming out. So, where are you going to attack? Okay. So, what, what question should you give to a man whom the woman in her life, whether mother, whether big sister or sister, someone, a woman in their life, mm -hmm. okay, whether wife gets that kind of a response, what question would you give a the man? Question, the question is, when you hear a, 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 an answer like that, yeah. Follow it up. Mm -hmm. Get to know why she said that. Yeah. Get to the root of the issue. Yeah. Don't leave it hanging. Mm -hmm. Go to the root. Handle it. Handle the it's matter. Very important. Because when the woman, the, the woman says, or any any woman tells you mm -hmm. that um, do that, what you want. What do what you want? Uh -huh. You just given up. Yeah. Probably she has been telling you, don't do this. Don't. So, Okay, fine. Mm. Like she has thrown away, she has thrown out her hands. Yeah. So that was a red sign. Yeah. That on this thing you're doing, or even this marriage, yeah. you are alone. Uh -huh. You are on your own. Yeah. That is enough to spoil everything. Yeah. Do you think that should trigger a man who cares for the yes. next, you know, next uh, level of that relationship? Definitely. What of for the man that does not care? The man that does not care, he will cry later. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because God gives you a woman uh -huh. so that your life can be tamed. Repeat that again. God gives a man a woman uh -huh. so that his life can be tamed. Yeah. So when you're careless or your wife tells you, I don't care, mm -hmm. and you don't tame it or yeah. find a way to bring an answer, yeah. what happens is it's like you've gone away from God's way. Mm -hmm. You're on your own. Mm. Yes. Wow, 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 wow. We are going on a very short break. I hope you're loving the show like I am. Yes. I hope your eyes are being open like my eyes are being open. Don't touch. That dial.
Welcome back. I hope you have taken your cup of tea, your cup of uji, your cup of cold juice. Karibu sana to Royalty Divine Women Show this lovely morning. The day that I say the Lord has made. You're welcome. Good to see you uh, this lovely day and having you on board on Royalty Divine Women's Show. And today we are doing the From a Man's Perspective. Mm -hmm. And with me on set has been Reva Kama. If you're joining us uh, kindly, uh, make sure you go to our YouTube page and find out more of this show today and it has been enlightening it has been deep it has been something 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 else so we were on the topic of what men hear versus what women mean so you're welcome back if you're joining us kindly catch up with us from our youtube pages and you'll be able to know one point second point the third point and right now we are going on the fourth point there's this issue of men hearing things that women do not mean it means there is a communication issue uh, yeah. and today from a man's perspective we are here to understand better what really women mean and what men really hear when we communicate or make some statements as women and as men karibuni sana once again to the show please make sure that you are part of us from our youtube page and sowa tv and every other social media channel Aha, uh -huh. number four, we are talking about uh, what men hear versus what women mean. Be careful of that woman. <laughs> Any anytime a man hears, be careful that, that statement. That statement uh -huh. It means number one, mm. uh, the woman is very insecure. Okay. There's a threat in the no. corner. Yes, 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 yes. Not insecure. Most mm. women, when they say that, they and, and also it means they're very prote uh, protective and protective wait, better. protective and <laughs> also they um um you know they are just guarding yes you know that's better the same time when a when a man hears that be careful that woman is this woman has been like what can i say suspecting something yeah. is come is happening mm -hmm. so when you talk about a, 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 a man be careful that woman it comes to the man Mm -hmm. That my wife is suspecting me. Mm -hmm. That there's something going on. Yeah. So immediately, um, the man um, feels no. Most men will tell you there's nothing happening. Yeah. Why? Why would you answer that? Mm -hmm. They will answer there's nothing happening because in their mind they know. Be careful that woman. Men understand that. Stop doing what you're doing with that woman. Mm. That's how men get it. Yes, I thought so. Yeah, stop mm -hmm. doing what you do. So already the man will feel like I'm being accused. Yes, attacked. They'll, uh, 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 they'll, they'll feel they're being attacked. Uh -huh. The man is accusing me. Yeah. So they'll tell you, ah, don't worry, there's nothing about it. Mm -hmm. So when they say that, they mm -hmm. want to hear what the woman will say next. Mm -hmm. See, the way you're flirting, the way you're, they know the men are always accused for nothing. Yeah. Really? So yes. Uh -huh. So when a man hears, be careful that two man. Uh -huh. What they understand is, are you trying to accuse me? Yeah. They are being accused. Uh -huh. They are being attacked. Yeah. The woman is just the, the wife is suspecting something. Yeah. That's what the man gets. Okay. For me, I absolutely I tend to feel that that statement comes on to men like a finger pointing. Definitely. Okay. And most of the time, the response from men is. What have you seen? Oh. What do you think? Yeah. What? Why are you telling me that? There's what, nothing. Uh, you know. Are you suggesting there's something? Are you suggesting that there is absolutely something? And 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 the response to me majorly, mostly, is because that is a statement from wife to husband. Okay. Um. It is. Uh. It it becomes the response becomes very defensive from the side of the men. Why? It's just a caution. It, it, you see it is a caution um, we care men don't like being accused <laughs> yeah. men don't like being caught yeah they don't like being caught so the moment you 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 like tell them that you have caught them yeah does it mean when that kind of a caution comes up there is a certain relationship that is not good between you as a man and that other woman let me put it like this Sometimes men don't take flattery uh -huh. like something serious. Yeah. You get it? Uh -huh. So, by the time a woman is saying that, probably uh -huh. there's a way a man has loosened a bit. Okay. So, when you say that, you are attacking him. Mm -hmm. So, they would definitely defend it. How, how does he see the attack? How does he take the attack? It feels like you are you're snooping. 
Okay. Oh, unani, 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 unani. Hey, you think I can't take care of myself? Hey. All you've just seen is my work is just to cheat around. Hey, yeah. You see, even if he's cheating, hey, hey. he doesn't want to feel like if you're accusing him is cheating. Yeah. So when that question comes, the man hey, feels like he's being suspected. Yeah. Um, or probably, or, and most of the time, men feel you've seen something mm -hmm. that probably could be true or not. Yeah. So they'll feel like, what do you think? Yeah. Well, why, why are you saying that? Yeah. I don't know, mean, what, are you, what do you mean? Yeah. And most of the time, when the man says that, um, already their faces has, has frowned. Eh, you know, they frowned their face. Eh, eh, but the truth I'm is, umor. I'm a woman. Yes, but you see now, <laughs> um, men get it. If already suspe you're suspe suspecting me, yeah, and you mean there's something going on. Yeah. Yes. Is is the response usually defensive? Just be frank now. Defensive. Yeah. Men are always defensive. Eh, eh. Always defensive. In a bad way. Both. Uh -huh. In a good, good way. Good way and bad way. Men good are always way, start with a good way. Good way is they like guarding what is theirs. Yeah. You see, uh -huh. a man will be comfortable sleeping with somebody's wife, mm -hmm. but will be very uncomfortable somebody sleeping with his wife. Mm -hmm. So they like very guarding. selfish. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Not selfish. It's guarding your territory. It's selfish. It's you capital letters. It, mm. Ayena does not eat his own child. Yeah. No. Okay. So, but they can eat another another uh, alliance child. Uh -huh. So what happened is. So they are hyenas, mafisi. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. That, no, name, does not, that, 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 that name does not mean <laughs> something nice. So you know that that's no, the, the no, slang no, no. word in Kenya. No, uh, no. Yeah. Man, is it true? It's not true. kind of. Uh -huh. So what happened is, uh -huh. number two, men don't like their ego being stepped on. Yeah. They will guard it. So that's the, the negative thing. Yes. Defense. Uh -huh. So this is my ego. Yeah. This is, this is, this is. Men don't like to be, to be shown that you're wrong. Yeah. Men are always right. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. men are always right, no mm. matter what you say. In their eyes, they are always right. But does it does it help in any relationship? It does. Having that, a problem. man that does not have that, yeah, that man will have an esteem issue. Okay. Yes. But it should be balanced. I tend to think it should be balanced. On the positive, yes. Yeah. Only on the balance. Should be balanced. But for you see, any relationship let me tell to work you, well, for a man to feel a man when yeah. he enters where there are women, he must make statement. Which is. Shout, buy them, whatever is buying them. <laughs> so these things that I see, they are true. They are true. Some attention seeking that like, look men like, like attention. Uh -huh. Naturally, men like attention. Uh -huh. A man will leave his family angry, but he'll buy food for another girl. What uh -huh. is he looking for? No, that's wrong. It's thing to do. Men always prove a point, and that makes what makes a man a man. Yeah. Yes. Of of, of which, in the in, in some way, it is wrong. And in some way, it is making them. I don't think it's in some way it's wrong. It is wrong because now, how do you buy lunch for another woman and your own family you've not left money for money. No, you? No, the, 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 the one that is in the house does mm -hmm. not know home, there's no food. No, the one that is in the restaurant yes. does not know, know that, that you're a careless man no, who is not no, taking no, no care careless, of his family. Not careless. You'll find the mm -hmm. one in the restaurant does not know anything. Of course, a doesn't. man rules where he goes. Uh -huh. A man is a king. Okay, then a good Maybe man. Maybe in his village is a peasant. Yeah. But when it comes, <laughs> wherever he is, a man is always a king. Are you talking of a certain tribe? No. Yeah. So when he goes to this place, uh -huh. he has not paid rent. He will, God forbid, he will buy poor beer. Yeah. At that point, his ego is being is is is, is massaged. massaged. Mm. His, his, his identity mm -hmm. is being recognized. Yeah. He's being pampered, yeah. he's being given names. Yeah. So at that point, he's mm -hmm. the king. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, for me, any man that is watching, balance your ego. There are some egos that have messed up good relationships. I want to believe also even you, you really want a man or any other woman, you really want a man who's always chickening. No, 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 no. Th th that's what I'm saying. Eh? Balance your ego. <laughs> Where you are wrong, accept that you are wrong. I in front of your wife, accept to be naked. Men are never wrong. Okay? In front of in your wife, ac this is my show. Okay. <laughs> I'm a guest, huh? your, Yeah, in front of your wife, accept that you are wrong when you are wrong. In front you know of your man, wife. When a, when a man agrees that he's wrong, yeah. I know what will happen. Next time again, at Akaliwa. Akuna, akuna, yon when mentality. You get, it's a truth. It's a mentality and it's a bad mentality. I am a guest. And, and those mentalities are the ones that are breaking <laughs> the homes and making men beastly. Like the example he has given of, you go buying a certain woman just to impress. Lunch and at home. 
at home. You haven't to left To bring the manly in. part of the man. What kind of manliness is that? You're being a fool. No. As a man, sincerely. No, no, no. You're, no, you're, you know, being, you know, you're being so weird. No. You see what Balance I'm... Balance both sides. What about your lunch? If you have money to waste. But lipa rent, lipa school fees, lisha bibi. There, I agree. Yeah. But... A man got to do what a man got to do. Of which, if you're a man and you're and you and you're saying you have the chest to carry uh, other women <laughs> and buy many many lunches, then take care of your family first. I agree. It comes first. But yes, thank you for agreeing. So this is my point. When a woman in your life tells you that, uh, what did they take say? Take care of that woman. Yeah, be careful of that woman. They are suspecting you. What exactly? You're a guest. All right. Thank you. So what exactly they mean is that there is something she has seen that she can't trust in that other woman. No, no, no. Let's be honest. Is it that the, the, you have seen the other woman or in the man? No, in the woman. Because I didn't caution you. I cautioned you against another person. In the same manner, I can tell you, be careful of that, your friend. I'm not saying that you're gay. I'm not saying that you're homosexual. I'm just saying that your friend, be careful of that friend. So it's the same way, it's the same caution. Okay, be careful of the way your brother is taking you in that business deal. It's a caution. See all cautions as cautions. And one of the things that when your woman tells you that it means she cares and she's looking out for your best best interest at heart. Can I ask a question? Okay, wait. Best interest at heart. That is a woman who doesn't have underlying issues. Any woman that has underlying issues that you've cheated on before. Your statement is Are there women? who are controlling controlling and manipulative very and they like their husbands or their spouse yeah. to do what they want yeah right they are there and there are so many so at what point do you now step up as a man and say no this is how it goes at the point whereby you feel now you're being manipulated okay at the point whereby now you think or you feel that your woman thinks you you don't have a brain of your own self there are women women mostly are so strong if you allow as a man a woman will take you rounds a woman will as he usually says a woman will uh, throw you in a ditch and leave you there and ask you how are we coming out my husband it happens so as a man you must have your own brains to know where to incorporate your wife and to put her in a place whereby personally i take it she's for me and not against me so when she cautions you against your friend whom you're in a business deal a colleague or a workmate or anyone in your life just take it positively and wonder what has she seen and i think that should be the next question when you when we, that should be the next question from a man to his woman what have you seen yeah okay and the answer will come out i don't like the way she's all over you i don't like the way she's calling you late hours i don't like the way she's like manipulating you and you're not aware of it those are the things that make marriages those are the things that make women relationships when you can give them a hearing when they are trying to be on your side positively. So we've balanced both sides. Okay? What men hear versus what women mean. Number, how much is this in, in your mother tongue? Five. <laughs> That's your mother tongue. <laughs> He's being very careful not to tell us where he comes from. Okay? Wisdom calls. What men hear versus what women mean. Where are we heading to? A question from a very strong woman, very comfortable woman, a woman who knows what she wants. For a, for a man, it means uh, what he gets is that you're trying to tell him mm -hmm. is not giving direction. Thank you. Is not giving, uh, is not pointing the road. Yeah. And sometimes it can be a, a insulting for a man. Uh -huh. yeah, there are men who feel, so what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know where I'm taking you. Yeah. you just follow me. Uh, where am I following you to? Just follow me or my wife. Uh, stop asking questions. <laughs> Most men yeah. feel like you don't understand them. Yes. Or you feel like they're useless. Or they're not working hard enough. Yeah. They are not putting too much effort. Yeah. So when you tell a man, where do you think we're headed? Mm -hmm. That question to some men, they, they, matter of fact, most men will avoid it. Okay. Most men will avoid that question. Okay. Don't give an answer. Because they don't know where they're taking you. No, they know. Some of them so. know. Some feel uh -huh. you have looked at them and you don't know. You think they, have a, they don't have a purpose. They don't know where they're going. Direction. Moving. They have no direction. Yeah. And for a woman to ask a man that kind that of question, question, 
that means a woman is very strong. Thank you. So the men don't like the feeling that this lady can be stronger than me. Uh -huh. So men are always pioneers. Mm. They like they are, they, they, are, they, are, they like bring it out. Yeah. So when you go ahead and you bring it out of them, they feel like children. Mm. They feel insulted. So mm. what they will do mm -hmm. is that some will not respond. Mm. Some will not tell you later. And some will feel of very, very offended. Yeah. Yes. Okay. For why should one feel offended? I think that's a question that, um, a, a, as a man, a man with correct thinking, let me not say brains, correct thinking, that is a question that should awaken you as yes. a man. It will definitely. Okay. Yeah. So if it awakens you, that should be, um, this is my vision. This is where we are going. Or give me two months, I'll answer you that question. But you see now. It should be an awakening kind of call. By the time you, you tell the man, you ask the man. Yeah. It can be the first day you've met the man. Yes. Of course, so, that's sign, someone like a husband. Yes. Yeah. Already you're showing him we are going nowhere. We are not progressing. You are not showing us in direction. Yeah. That's abusive. <laughs> That's uh -huh. insulting. Yeah. So the man will feel, I, what, what do you mean? Yes. You mean I'm doing nothing. Uh -huh. So for you to bring it out, yeah. you see, um, the man will feel, okay, what do you want? The man will get it. You are telling him he's not doing anything, he's not doing much. Yes. So you'll feel offended because, mm -hmm. again, yeah. you're stepping on his ego. Okay. Yes. All right. And to men, when a woman asks you, where are you taking us? All she really, really, really intends is... Give us direction. Me and my children, so, we are just following you. So we you. might be right yeah. that what you are saying, yes. in other words, the question was the other words, we are not you have anywhere. no direction. You yeah. are not leading us. Yes, you are not leading us. We cannot feel your presence as the leader. So in you are, in other words, you have no tomorrow. <laughs> No, that's oh, no, 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 that's exactly what you're talking about. To that's hear. insulting. What men hear versus yes. what me, women mean. You don't tell mean. me. I'm just uh, very careless <laughs> and very useless. You see, eh? never, never put words in someone's mouth. For a man, the yeah. words already enter. Now, yeah. this is the man. This is what happens. Uh -huh. Why, when you ask a man that question, it's very random. Yeah. He might, he might not answer you. Why? <laughs> no. He wants to process whether you're insulting him. Yeah. Or you're insulting him. Uh -huh. And most of the time, yeah. they feel insulted. Okay. okay. Yes. But at the end of the day, that's why I'm bringing it out here. If you feel offended, then it means you actually are not taking this woman anywhere. Together with her seeds. Okay? Number two, <laughs> it means that step up. Show us the way. Lead. You're the man. It means that you have a very strong woman who is submissive enough, ready to get your leading. Simple. So as a man, you just need to know that you have a good woman who is ready to be led, who is ready to follow. Sasa, see, you just do the needful. Instead of thinking and overthinking and, you know, putting words in her mouth and all that, which does not help, at the end of the day, he will come back with the answer, but a very, in a very defensive way, like a mekuja vita. Because mm -hmm. that's most of the time what will happen. Because many men, I think because of responsibilities and all that, they might be taken away. By what? They may be carried away by some of the responsibilities that they have to the point whereby now they lose track of direction giving in their home. True. For example, what do I mean? That this man is a man that should be has boys in their home. He's not there. He's looking for money so hard that he's never present in the house. Okay? Mm -hmm. And the wife can come up with that kind of a question. Where do you think you're taking us? Our boys are already teenagers. They don't feel your presence as a father. I see you when I see you. You're never here. The girls are growing up. Where are you taking us as a man? Okay? So that kind of a question is absolutely telling you you need to pull back to us as your family. What, what do you think? What do you, how do you see it in that, in that perspective? See, see, that, For me, it should draw you back. I think that's a woman's perspective. A man will tell you, don't you know, I'm looking for the family. I'm, sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm working for the family. Mm -hmm. the, the man will always answer you according to what they're doing. Yeah. Or probably, probably, he's not even telling you nowhere. Mm. He'll tell you, I'm working on it. Yeah. See, so when you ask him, you have showed him. You have reminded him he's not doing anything about it. Okay, so is, is it in his point that he should do something about it? Definitely, yes. 
Okay, mm -hmm. thank you for agreeing. It is in to do something. Yeah. But men don't like being told uh -huh. or reminded. Yeah. Men have this thing, I'm a leader. Mm. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, but what of a wise man? They are, they are men and they are also wise women. Wise, wise men, men. Wise men should, know, should be able to lay down yeah. beforehand yeah. what they are planning and what they are doing. That's why yeah. a man that has, has, is doing something for the family mm -hmm. incorporates the wife. Yeah. Or the, so that that question will never arise. Yeah. I'm doing this. I'm mm. do, we are here now. Yeah, we are here I'm, together. I'm, I want to press these three battles to yeah. get there. Yeah. So the only way I can get there is my plan. Mm. Then what do you think? Mm -hmm. But the man who is not telling you what he's planning, yeah. probably, probably, mm. he doesn't have. Yeah. So if you ask him, you're insulting him. Yeah. Yes. By by the time we we finish the program, I'll ask you to give us the, in a in a in a snippet, okay? The difference, and that should be handled, I think, one of these fine days on from a man's perspective. Mm -hmm. The difference of a wise man and a man with an ego. Me, I think a man with an ego is not wise. We'll answer that question <laughs> later on. So, uh, what men hear versus what women mean. Yes. I believe that you're loving the show. I'm enjoying it to the core. Yeah, are you loving the show? Yes. I know. It's awesome. And what men hear versus what women mean. The last point. So that we round up this show this morning. Dead silence is communication. Do you know that? Dead silence yeah. is communication. Dead silence. We don't have to talk for me to know you are not okay. For men, that is very, very bad language. Okay. Men don't. What do men hear? Men don't interpret it that you want us to be quiet. Uh huh. Man, I heard. Especially it. if you know your wife. For a man who knows things bubbly. are okay. Uh huh. Things are okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now, say number it again. two. Number two. Mm -hmm. For man, that's a safe landing. Okay. It's a safe landing. Yeah. Why? No more issues to handle. Mm hmm No more. I said, let's handle this issue. Mm. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. Matter of fact, a man can live with, I'm okay. Yeah. Then, we keep on handling issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, when... when, when How do you call them? When you're... Eh? The issues in your that coward. Nini, you don't got any... Makesi. Most men are pending Makesi. <laughs> so, and... and, and why is a man come home late? Yeah. And they leave was, early? Yeah. Why not avoid my case? <laughs> yeah. So come on the Kanyamaza and you don't bring my case. Dead the silence. man is fine. Because uh -huh. you're completely silent. Yeah. That man is having heaven on earth. I know. When a man gets, um, when, when a woman is dead silent, mm -hmm. the man takes it. You have matured. Okay. You have, now you're mature. Uh -huh. Now you have grown. Yeah. You're no longer petty. Yeah. You get it. Eh. When you're dead silent, the man takes it. Now you've matured. Mm -hmm. Now you're a good wife. Yeah. Yes. Is that really wisdom from that kind of a man? No. You see, now, let me say something. No. Let me say this. There are women. You don't keep quiet when things are okay. No. Even when, you as a man. There are women when things are bad. Mm -hmm. They keep quiet, but they still keep doing their chores. Yes. They take care of their responsibility. Yeah. That's enough for them. And man. many down put their, you know. Their, their cause. Yes. Yeah. So what happened is when 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 a woman keeps quiet. Yeah. The man was there, probably she's tired. <laughs> no, for months. Probably she's ovulating. She's been tired for months. Yes. Ovulating every day. <laughs> so what will happen is. Yeah. You've matured. Uh -huh. And you'll tell you, my marriage nowadays is not an issue. Yeah. Especially if you're taking care of your responsibility. Mm. So a man who's now interpret mm -hmm. your growing, your, your maturing. Yeah, I think for me that is ignorance. And ignorance uh, is, is costly. One thing women should know. Because. Men eh? always avoid handling issues. Yes. They don't like. So if yeah. you're quiet, have you not handled all the issues for him? Mm -hmm. You have. Yes, definitely. definitely. But again also, that's why I'm saying it's ignorance. If this woman is quiet and you can tell that everything is okay with her. She has matured. No, it means that there is some, she's tired of handling issues. I'm a choker. Yes, anyway. that's the thing. So a good no. man, you matured. And in a bad way, how has her heart healed or how is the conditioning mm -hmm. of her heart in placement to you? The man will only... That means for me, any wise man should awaken. You, you, you know what happens? Yeah. Most of the time, when a woman is quiet mm -hmm. and the woman is doing the normal work, yeah. you get your point. Mm -hmm. She's taking care of herself, taking care of things. Most men are not really after love. They're after respect. Yeah. So you respect him enough to cook for him when mm -hmm. you're angry. You respect him enough 
when you don't bring up issues. You spend him enough mm. if you don't caution him. Mm. So the moment you don't do That's that, being a woman, the moment you don't do that, yeah. the man interprets now you've matured. Yeah, are you getting me? Mm -hmm. Because most men don't relate to heart; they relate to mind. Okay. It is how you look at me, mm. how you handle me. Very few men are emotional. Mm -hmm. So the moment you bring something like, um, uh, you know, we have this issue. And so you want him to, you're quiet about the issue. For, my, for, the, for the man, it's a safe life. Matter of fact, most men mm -hmm. wouldn't bring it up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Awesome. So um, for me, if there is dead silence, my advice to all the men that are watching this mm -hmm. afternoon, okay? Mm -hmm. My advice is that find out what the issue is, mm -hmm. okay? Especially if you know your woman well. If you know that she's bubbly, she's happy, she's all over you, or lately you've been having issues, okay? And she's now all of a sudden quiet. She doesn't want issues. Mm -hmm. She's serving you. She's putting food on the table. She's going to bed. In other words, she's no longer probing. That tells you that woman is slowly or has already withdrawn from that marriage or from you, the man in her life. And that is dangerous. That's a woman who can easily pack and go start another relationship immediately. Okay? Because one of the things that women do when they are committed in a relationship, they will want to make it better. They will caution you. They will correct you. They will sit you down and tell you, I'm not happy here. I don't like it this way. But when a woman quiets on you, it means I've packed. I've packed my mind. I've packed my heart. I've packed every faculty of myself. The next thing I'm about to do is pack out and go. So dead silence to any man should be an awakening call and should make you know that whatever has been an issue in that home, I'm a chokanayo. sasa, do whatever you want to do, go heaven. But never be surprised with that such kind of a woman. One day, if you come and find out she has already moved on. Moved on, like packed and gone, started another family or started an, another relationship with another man because, you know, she left you like five years ago and you think everything is okay. So that is not a good wake-up call if you're seeing that dead silence in your woman. Wake up and do something about it because you're about to lose a good woman. Wow, 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 wow. This is a show that I love every, every other. One Thursday in a month on Royalty Divine, we bring my guest, Reverend Bia Kama, on set uh, for from a man's perspective. And today has been that day of which today we were handling what men think, what men hear versus what women mean. And our intention on from a man's perspective is to make it clear that relationships between women are not supposed to be from Mars and the other one from Pluto. <laughs> the relationship can be married, okay? The relationship can be good. The relationship can be, you know, peaceful, happy, you know? Men and women don't have to be people that don't see eye to eye or they live in a cold home or cold environment or you know if as long as you're a man i don't understand you as long as you're a woman you are hard to understand no from a man's perspective is supposed to bridge that gap and make you know that your relationship between you and the man in your life can be well mended and well understood parting shot my dear guests mm -hmm. what is your parting shot parting shot is this um women should understand how men uh view things mm -hmm. Because our understanding of things are completely different. That's right. That is the first thing. Mm -hmm. Number two, a woman should be able to, you know, explain herself better. Yeah. Most women speak in parables. Yeah. So when it comes to a man, for him to understand what you're saying, be very clear. Mm -hmm. Very, very clear. Mm -hmm. Then give the man time for expression. Yeah. Because uh, when you're not clear with what you're saying, the man will get a different picture. Mm -hmm. But when you're very clear with what you're saying, yeah. what he thinks or what he gets mm -hmm. will be changed. Mm -hmm. And then you find you're able to flow with him. Yeah. When you don't like the way he's handling something, just be straight up. Mm -hmm. This thing is not right. Awesome. Yes. Wow. I believe that your, that your relationship with any man in your life is going to get better and better because it is possible. From a man's perspective, we make it possible. Praise God and praise God. I want to bring you away a wonderful announcement to all singles, both men and women. You looking out to get married soon? Looking out to settle with a man or with a woman in your life? 
the best thing that you need to do is prepare for it. And preparation is what puts the, a better platform or a better foundation for anything that you're preparing for. So all the singles out there, we are having a singles, my candle of marriage coming up very soon on the 8th of October. And this uh, uh, conference that you're having for the singles, you need to register for it. We are calling out for all the singles to call 0705-899-608 or send in a text say that you saw the advert on my candle of marriage and you want to register will tell you the directions on how to go about it any single that is looking out to have a good marriage you have to prepare for it now and this is the platform a sound of abundance together with rev b akama we are giving you out as a single lady make sure you come for this meeting that will be on the 8th of october Call 0705-899-608 for more information or 0727-438-728. We'll be able to fill you in on how to register and what is expected of you from My Candle of Marriage. Again, Royalty Divine Women Show is a platform that is given to us by Sower TV, Ladies of Royal Distinction and Sound of Abundance Church. And we are having our monthly meeting again coming up on the 22nd of october all women gather you know online but now we are calling you to gather physically in sound of abundance church the lord city from 2 p.m that 22nd more details will be coming up i'd love to see you i'm the host of that meeting women's meeting that is physically going to be here in church at the lord city sound of abundance church 22nd please look it out in your diary to mark it as a date that you don't want to miss more details will be flowing your way along sower tv keep it here on sower tv thank you for having been with me on royalty divine women's show where we build a lasting distinction keep it here sower tv touching lives with the power of love god bless you shalom <laughs>